Wouldn't it be awesome to add your own DIY electronic project to a functionally stable home automation system? Today in this video, we are going to review iHost Gateway from Sunoff and talk about its features. And with the help of HomeBridge plugin, we will be able to let not only Zigbee devices, but also ESP32 be interfaced from iPhone Home app through MQTT Thing. We will also use ESP32 C6 microcontroller to interface 24 gigahertz millimeter wave motion detection radar and view its data on iPhone home app. Hey Siri, is there anyone in my home? There's motion in the bedroom. We are going to make home automation a piece of cake today. So without any further ado, let's jump on in. Turn your dream project into reality with PCBWay. I've personally used their services to produce my own prototype for future IoT projects. Ordering your own PCB has never been easier before. With a lot of features, they are also having up to 50% discount due to Christmas. So make use of that. All right, so here's the hardware that I'm going to use for my motion detection radar. Uh, so here, as you can see, I have ESP32 C6. Uh, so I've got uh, this development board from uh, we act uh, and then here I have the 24 gigahertz uh, uh, motion detection radar its name is HLK LD 2410B and it has a uh, motion detection pin and it's connected to this uh, GPIO pin of the microcontroller that I have uh, it also has UART interface uh, to provide more information related to the motion detection distance and motion type whether it's stationary uh, or active motion so what my hardware is going to do is that it's going to be connected to wi-fi and then it's going to publish the motion detection related data over uh, mqtt that my gateway is subscribed to and then the gateway is going to process the data so it can appear uh, on the uh, apple home app so let me show you i will actually talk in more details uh, when we talk about the gateway and its functionality so now i'm going to energize this board to see how it operates so here you can see that uh, I have activated the notification so once uh, motion is detected I'll get notification from the home app yes as you can see I've got motion detected by bedroom motion radar and you can see now the status is uh, motion detected of course on the home app you can do some home automation like turning on the light on the bedroom when motion is detected by the radar Okay, so here's the web interface of the uh, iHost uh, gateway that I have. So as you can see, I have two devices uh, that are communicating with my gateway. Of course, they communicate over uh, Zigbee, uh, one of the features that uh, iHost gateway has. So uh, I have a temperature sensor, so I can monitor the daily temperature monthly or even half a year. So I can see how my home is doing with that temperature. Uh, and then here I have one uh, outlet that's plugged to a light bulb I suppose you can hear the uh, voice of the relay of course there are other features regarding the uh, web interface so here I can add uh, some scenes uh, but actually I prefer to do this in another way I will we'll, uh, discuss this uh, in a minute so what uh, scene mean is that uh, say that you have some motion sensor when the motion sensor detects uh, motion it will light up some light that you determine and one other feature of the gateway is the uh, security panel control so this is quite close to security control systems like you can arm and disarm your system uh, so while you are not at home uh, you will be notified when your motion detectors detect some motion on, at your home or do something else. Currently, I don't have uh, many devices to show you a real life example of this uh, feature, but we can do this in the future. So here you can design a dashboard so you can access your devices from a device that can be connected to your uh, local network, like a smartphone or a PC. So you can access the dashboard that you design from this link. So let's see what we have here. Of course, this will be uh, more meaningful uh, from a smartphone and not uh, on a desktop. So here I have the devices that are connected to my gateway. 
here you can see the uh, outlet that's connected to my light and here you can see the temperature and humidity from the sensor and this is the graph of the temperature change within a day so let's get back uh, to our gateway web interface and the most thing I like about this gateway is that you can add uh, plugins uh, in order to add more control uh, to your devices uh, and the thing that I'm going to focus on today is the Homebridge uh, plugin which is actually quite useful so since I am an iPhone guy I preferred using this plugin because this will allow uh, the connected devices to be controlled over Apple Home app which is quite handy so on the Homebridge web interface you will have this uh, QR code by scanning this from your Home app you can add uh, the devices that are connected to your gateway to the Home app so you can manage them uh, from there uh, and to do so you will need uh, this uh, plugin uh, and there are many tutorials uh, talking about configuring uh, this plugin so I will not uh, go into that uh, I will actually focus on the Homebridge MQTT thing because this opens your way to add more custom devices uh, to your home app the only thing you want is that to have uh, some uh, microcontroller that can communicate over Wi-Fi to publish some data uh, and subscribe to some uh, MQTT topics which is actually can be done uh, obviously by ESP32 so let me show what I have done here actually I have added the motion sensor using uh, the radar that I've showed at the beginning of this tutorial so here I've initialized my gateway to connect to this specific MQTT broker and then here I can determine the topics that my gateway should uh, subscribe to in, and in order to obtain the required information so here for example here I have a motion detect topic so in this topic the iHost gateway is going to get the information related to the motion detection uh, so in case of motion detection the value passed over this uh, topic is going to be 1 uh, and 0 when there is no motion uh, of course the value will be in ASCII format and of course we can see here uh, there are more topics uh, to configure like there's uh, the fault uh, topic battery level in order to monitor uh, the battery level of your motion sensor uh, from the home app uh, the low battery notification uh, topic uh, battery charging topic tamper status topic uh, and more of course uh, in this demo uh, for uh, illustration purposes I'm going with this topic only and of course you can add more devices and accessories uh, so you can control them from your uh, home app and we will actually see that in the ESP32 firmware that we are going to discuss so the ESP is going to publish data to this specific topic so the uh, motion detection status on the home app will change depending on the data uh, published uh, to this topic which is actually quite easy thing to implement you will see that the uh, firmware running on the ESP32 is quite simple and easy <laughs> Alright, so here's the firmware running on the ESP32C6 uh, It's actually quite easy and straightforward because uh, all of the hard work is actually done uh, by the uh, gateway that we are using in this tutorial So uh, first of all we start from the main So first I'm initializing a GPIO open as input in order to read the state of the 24GHz radar that I'm using in order to detect motion so as I've mentioned before, I'm not using the UART interface of the radar. I'm, I'm using the motion detection pin right away because uh, this is what I'm going to report uh, to the gateway over MQTT. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, I'm initializing this task in order to initialize the Wi-Fi and uh, MQTT. So here, uh, the ESP32 is going to connect to my local uh, Wi-Fi network. Uh, and after that, uh, it will connect uh, over MQTT to my broker. Uh, that's running on my Raspberry Pi so I have a mosquito broker on my Raspberry Pi and after that this task will be deleted and after that the whole system will be running uh, on this task in order to monitor uh, the uh, radar status so here at the beginning of the task I'm forming the string uh, that's going to carry the topic uh, that I'm going to use to uh, report data over uh, on QTT so here I'm placing first the ID of this device and then I'm placing the topic uh, it's motion detect and this is the same uh, topic that uh, the gateway is going to uh, subscribe to in order to obtain the radar status uh, so first here I have the ID because I may add more devices as radar to my gateway 
and then I'm adding this topic. So here in the task loop, uh, we notice that the only thing that we are doing is reading the uh, GPIO open value. And if it is not equal to the previous state, we're executing this piece of code where we are obtaining the new state of the uh, radar and then uh, publishing this data with the size of one uh, to this topic. Uh, to the MQTT broker so our gateway can receive this data and report that Apple Home app. And this is everything running on the ESP32. This brings me to the end of this tutorial. Uh, I'll be sharing all the materials of this uh, video on my GitHub repository and the video description uh, so you can have a look at them. If you have learned something new today, like the video, share it among your friends and tell them about useful clinics. See you in the upcoming tutorials and bye bye.